Welcome back, everybody. This is Dragnus here with Dragnus Reviews. Got a different product here today. Um, this is not something I've done on the channel before, so bear with me. This is the Thrill Tank DL F F055 PL12 BR A. There is 320 millimeter fans. All three have a green LED ring. No, these are not RGB. Um, my particular uh, <laughs> needs did not call for them to be RGB, and I like green, so that's what you get. Um, these particular fans are, again, they're 112 millimeter fans. They run at 1500 RPM, 1000 RPM with LNC enabled. Uh, 40 points. 40.6 CFM. They're hydraulic fans. The noise is about 24.6 decimals. Uh, a little bit lower, 18.7 again with LNC. Um, these are LED. Again, this is a three pack. Uh, it uses a ring LED, which is something I was definitely kind of curious about. Um, they also have, uh, from what I can see, they have like these little cushions on the edges here that are supposed to help with the vibrations. Um, so it should create a decent amount of static pressure as well. Um, they, it says on the box, low noise cable, but I've never really known a cable to make too much noise. I guess unless it's, you know, rattling on something, but um, kind of go over the box here. I'm just looking through. Voltage is 12 volts, of course. Power inputs, 2.4 watts. Um, hydraulic bearings, of course, connectors are 3-pin plus LNC low noise cable. Um, it does come in various colors. You can get red, blue, green, and white. Um, yeah, there's not much to it, so let's go ahead and unbox this now. Grab my trusty blade here. Oh, well, the good news is it does not look like there is a thing to cut. Sorry, knife. I guess you weren't needed. Put that aside. Um, sorry for the layout today. Um, I did not feel like pulling up my map that I was using, the green screen and everything. So we just kind of went with my normal mouse pad. So anyway, let's get back to this. So let's unbox these beauties. So, so far, I'm... <laughs> Definitely like in the case uh, or the box here. I'm uh, super crazy about black and green. My favorite two uh, or my favorite mix of colors. However, I will um, kind of funny. It's like if I didn't know better, these were made by Razor. So on top, we're met here with the like the different power cables, LNC connectors. Put those kind of like right here. Imagine that we should have three per each. I mean, we got the screws, three sets, of course, which makes sense. We have three fans, right? There's the third one of that, and the third one of that. And sorry if I'm doing this off screen again, uh, some camera angles and things will be changing very shortly here. Uh, I have some new equipment coming that's going to change a little bit of how I do some of the reviews. Um, <laughs> You'll even start seeing my face. Um, I'm gonna adjusting the mic here just a little bit. I'm not sure how well it's picking up. I think it's fine, but as you see, that's one of the cables there. So if you hear a little bit of a weird clink, that's just me slightly adjusting the mic so it's a little better spot. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out these fans. Light out very nicely. So there is a little, looks like a little guidebook that just gives you some basic product uh, warranty and stuff like that. Nothing that you should be too concerned about. I'm sure you looked at least one of these. It's all the same with slightly different wording. So uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. It's kind of unneeded. Well, here's the box. It's open. Still pretty box. Like I said, if I didn't know any better, it was made by Razor. Better be careful, they might try to claim. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll put the box over here as well. Wait. And let's take a look at what we got. These are, the, again, these are the 120 millimeter fans, so they're a decent size. They will fit 
pretty much all all cables nowadays with or all cases nowadays I should say. Spins really nice, it's really smooth. Seems relatively balanced. I'm watching the fluctuation in the leveling. Obviously without using an actual level laser to measure the amount of uh, wobble, I guess you would feel for the technical term. Um, it's hard to say, but from what I could see, it's decently balanced. The plastic is nice. Um, a lot of times I've noticed on fans that the mold, and when it's set, it'll, it'll actually see it like wobble like this side to side, and it kind of tells you that it's not balanced, which means it's not going to be as accurate and as smooth as you'd want it to be, and it will create more noise due to so. Um, I definitely like the construction. It feels nice. These pads are they're thick, but they are rubber. Um, they're not super soft, so they should definitely hold up really well and keep the uh, vibration noise down. The ring has a nice touch. Um, so it looks like if you can see it here, let's see if we can get the ring. So here's the ring. It's a see-through ring, so it will glow green. It'll actually emit light on the sides and internally. You can kind of see here. So that's going to be definitely interesting once this glows and turns on. The effect should be pretty nice and effect. Um, in fact, the case that these are going to go into do not have, um, I don't have a acrylic glass or see-through side panel right now. This was a <laughs> budget build from a little bit back just to kind of get me up to date with some things. And uh, one of the particular things was it just didn't have a side panel that's open. Eventually I was thinking about modding it, but I'm actually going to be going with a new case probably within the next month or so. Um, this one will be a glass case and it will be a surprise, but I will be doing an unboxing and video of that as well. So here we have it. Um, we got the case fans here and uh, I'm going to pause the video here just for a moment because I'm actually going to take my side panel and my case off and plug one of these in so we can see how it looks. Alright, welcome back, and sorry for the sudden shock, but you will notice that <laughs> everything's panned and moved slightly enough. And I'm plugging into my case to not reach as far as I'd like, and I want to show this just a little bit different. So, fan is plugged in right now to the case. Um, I have a case mounted fan controller, um, so that I won't be able to get an accurate readout at this time. But uh, I will be plugging this into the headers on the motherboard, which in turn, obviously I will be able to give you an accurate uh, reading out on the RPMs. But let's go ahead and turn this on. And as you can see, the LED ring is on. It's, uh, beautifully glowing. The camera just definitely does not capture it very well. Decent green. You can feel the airflow is pretty well. However, now that I'm having the fan going here, I try to keep it as still as I can. I am finding that the vibration in here is it's minimal. It's definitely there's some vibration in it, which means the blade is definitely not 100% balanced. But I suppose out of a molded plastic and mass-produced product like this, um, <laughs> it's not going to be balanced. So that's on the highest setting that my controller can do. I can actually tone it down a little bit to the second setting. Like a low that still is definitely outputting a decent amount of volume of air oh. so, I mean there's not too much um, <laughs> more I can do at this point um, we got the fans going we can see it moving working the glow is decent um, not quite as bright as I would have liked to have seen, however, it's not inside a case yet, so I imagine a few of these running, it will be a little different. Um, <laughs> sadly, the case that's going into lose a little bit of the uh, nuance of the coloring because it's going to be in a case where there's only like some vent holes to show it, but um, it is what it is. All right, so thank you again for joining me. Um, it's been a pleasure. This is again the if you're looking for this, this is the thermal take CL dash or F055 dash PL12 GR dash A.
You can find these on Newegg. It looks like the three pack is roughly about $34. Um, and they're a great upgrades, especially if you have a case that came with some fans that are not are subpar and need to be replaced. Um, <laughs> I know I do. One of mine is claiming it's running at 15,000 RPM. Pretty sure it's lying at the. So these will be a, def a great upgrade for that. And um, yeah. So again, it was a pleasure. Please like and subscribe. Um, I will continue to keep out of content coming out as much as I possibly can. Um, I definitely enjoy the unboxings. I will be, like I said, trying to change up how they are. Eventually you'll even see my uh, beautiful face in the uh, videos as well as I be do these a little bit more of a personal. Um, right now I'm building my studio design up a little better. Um, so go ahead and hit that bell. Hit uh, the notification bell. That way you get uh, notifications when I uh, put out new videos. My goal again is about two a week, more once things pick up and um, I can get into the groove that I want to get into, of course. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, I have some game reviews coming up. Um, I'll be changing my format. Um, I'm not necessarily going with any game play videos for a while because it looks like uh, people enjoy those as well. Um, that aside here. And well, anyway, so I will do the reviews. I'm going to do those in a little bit different format. So I'm going to uh, record different gameplay a little bit and then I give my overview about the game. And I'll put those out as well. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please go ahead and uh, let me know down in the comments below. And see you next time. Thank you. All right, just adding this little bit into the video. Um, I just switched over to my phone, obviously, because my webcam does not work when not in the <laughs> in my computer. But as we can see here, if we go to chassis one and chassis two, we're getting about fifteen hundred and fourteen eighty, so very close to fifteen hundred RPM, which is the so uh, <laughs> it is the specified RPM range that the fan advertised. So that right there is pretty damn good to me. So well, now that we can see that it's working out in the, in the bias mode, let's go ahead and look at the fans themselves while they're in the case. Excuse my desk. I ripped everything apart in order to get a good get everything done and get the fans in. So as you can see, here's fan number one. And fan number two, I have these right now in a exhaust mode. Um, I'm trying out a different configuration to get the right pre uh, static pressure for my case. I'm hoping these acting as an exhaust will give me a little bit more airflow in here. And I did mount one of them up top here. Um, <laughs> I will be ordering replacements so I can replace the old school in there. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to replace the Corsair ones on this because I'm going to be working on a new build. Um, but as you can see, that one's up and running. It is not plugged into the motherboard on any of the headers, so I do not have accurate RPM reading. So the case. Okay. So, and I recently took this apart and got rid of the mesh that was inside here to... It was really blocking airflow, so I wanted to fix that out and, uh, and clean them at the same time. So that's my my build right there. You can see it's nothing spectacular. It does the job, and uh, they'll probably be retired in about three months from now. But there it is. Thank you guys for uh, checking out the video. Um, again, make sure to uh, like and subscribe, and uh, see you next time.